The fact that Johannes Gutenberg continued to print in his own workshop can only be deducted indirectly, as the relevant equipment was part of his estate. Unfortunately, none of the prints that we attribute to Gutenberg today contain a name. This also is true for the Catholicon, one of the early prints, whose printing history has probably been the subject of most discussion and research to date. The Catholicon is a Latin grammar that was possibly printed by Gutenberg around 1460. This honor brought to Johannes Gutenberg several advantages. For example, every year he received the clothing of a courtier, 20 malted corn, approximately 2,200 liters, and two food of wine, approximately 2,000 liters. With this, he probably also supplied the employees of his printing workshop. In addition, Gutenberg was exempt from service to the city, taxes, and duties. The Algesheimer Hof in the old town of Mainz is the immediate vicinity of Johannes Gutenberg's probable baptismal church of St. Christoph and the Hof zu Gutenberg. After Gutenberg's death, the Algesheimer Hof was first incorporated into the university, which was newly founded in 1477 and went to the Jesuits in the 16th century. The building was destroyed in the Second World War. In the late 1970s, the remains of the surviving ruins finally had to make way for a completely new building. A last document dated on 26 February 1468 bears witness to Johannes Gutenberg's death. In it, the Mainz humanist and lawyer Dr. Kumar Humeri confirms that a borrowed printing press was returned from his estate. We therefore know that Gutenberg probably died long before this date by means at the beginning of the year 1468. The frequently mentioned date of death, February 3rd, was circulated by the researchers and may have been invented. An obituary also states that the inventor was probably buried in the Franciscan Church of Mainz, which no longer exists today. The earliest image of Johannes Gutenberg is a woodcut in the second volume of the Posopographia Herum Anche Illustrium Virorum Totius Gemeniae, 1565 and 66, a book of heroes by Heinrich Pantaleon, a physician and humanist from Basel. However, the same woodcut is also used in the book for other persons, such as Bishop Remigius of Reims or St. Columban of Luxeuil. A copper plate engraving from 1584 became Gutenberg's most famous depiction. It is taken from the nine-volume encyclopedia True Portraits and Life Stories of Illustrious Greeks, Latins, and Pagans, taken from the old and new paintings, books, medals, by the French polyhistorer André Tevet. However, all portraits were painted after his death, so we do not know what he really looked like. With the opening of the World Museum of the Printing Arts on June 23, 1901, we, the International Gutenberg Society, were founded at the same time. This makes us one of the most traditional scientific societies in the city, which not only supports the Gutenberg Museum, but also promotes research into book and printing. With our work, we want to keep Gutenberg's legacy alive and hope that you enjoyed our series of pictures about the life of this great inventor.